Hi everybody, I'm here today with a comparing video, this time between two mini arcade games. Which today, I'll be comparing the Pac-Man arcade game and the Space Invaders arcade game. Now, these two, I got them both at the, fro the Lazy Frog store. And they're both the exact same design, they're both the same length, they're both black, and... They're not only mini arcades, but they also both have keychains on the back. Because you, you can hang this on your bag or wherever. And then this is where the battery goes on us, which is down there. And then this one's Pac-Man and Space Invaders. The detailing the same design, except this one shows Space Invaders and pictures on there. And this one shows the Pac-Man pictures. And then the joystick is the same. They got the same buttons. And they both have small screens, and they're both the same, of course. And they both have the same sounds. So yeah, so I'm going to give you a demonstration on how these work. These are smaller, so they're a little harder to use, but it's worth it. You'll get better at it eventually. Anyways, let's start Pac-Man. And of course, there's no volume adjuster on this thing, which is interesting. Now, I made a video on my mini arcade cabinet, and I'm also going to show that in this comparing video, too, because, um... Just so I can show what's different about it and what's the same. Of course, this is just like this is just like the Pac-Man you're playing. You gotta like eat dots without getting hit by the ghosts. And down there I have like three lives. Alright, now I ate two of the ghosts already. So that means I gotta go eat the rest of the dots. Yeah, the ghosts, for those who don't know, the ghost names are Blinky, Inky, Clinky, and Clyde. Which the ghost Clyde is not smart. Well, three of the ghosts, Blinky, Inky, and Clinky, they ambush, chase, or, or they block your section. That's what they do. And the ghost Clyde is still in there because he is not smart. First off, I don't get why the ghost Clyde isn't smart. Like, he's not actually... Like, Clyde is still in his safe space Like because he's not smart. If you're getting, if you're gonna be hit by a ghost game, you're more likely to get hit by the ghost to run into the ghost Blinky, Inky, and Clinky, or whatever the third ghost name is. You won't really run into Clyde because he is smart, because he isn't smart. Ah, I just died. I almost ate that ghost. Plus, what's what's better about this version, this mini pack, this mini arcade game Pac-Man, is that you don't like the screen doesn't like freeze for the game doesn't pause for a second. You just die then start over. Cause I mean, in a typical Pac-Man game, like it just it just pauses then then you die. And I just died. When you're trying to get sections of dots, the ghosts like. Like block the path you're using. Well, except for Clyde. That's well, because he isn't smart. Which I don't get why he's not smart. And I just died. Almost beat this level though. Anyways. This is just this game, this arcade cabinet only just has Pac-Man, nothing else. There's also Miss Pac-Man and this Galaga. And then this one is Space Invaders, which is only one game on it, which is of course Space Invaders. This one you gotta shoot all these um enemies. 
It gets faster as you progress, and I just die. I know some people may some people on this may not know how to play the game because it's mini, but this is also a how-to. This will kind of give you how to do it for those who don't know how to play this. And the music gets faster. Oh, darn it. I just died. And I get bonus points for hitting that other enemy. Ah, darn it. Almost had it, though. So these are very interesting because it's mini. And then, and then I will bring in my actual arcade game. Now, this is the arcade game cabinet that I made a video on, which it says it's called mini, but the funny thing about this is that this isn't even mini size. It's actually almost the full size. And, of course, it's got the same size TV screen, except this arcade game is always bigger than those two. Same joysticks, same buttons, and same on-off switch, and same design, pretty much. Except the pictures are different. But what's unique about this one is that, um, well, here's what's different. The on-off switch for these two are on the bottom. This one's on the top. And what's unique about this one is that it has 200 games and not one. This one has a volume adjuster and a pause button to reset, whereas these two do not. I'm scrolling through to show you guys this. All the games in this cabinet. So yeah, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.